Shut up! All of this for two boys? Where are my sons? Listen, listen. Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so tonight we're going to be talking about Polo G. Now, this is an update from what happened with Polo G yesterday. Now, yesterday morning, very early in the morning, Polo G, his sister and girlfriend and little brother all got locked up, man. It was a crazy situation. I did a whole video about it, and it took place at his album release party. So Polo G just dropped an album called Hall of Fame, and it's getting wide acclaim. A lot of people are saying this is a solid project, one of the best albums out. I even heard whispers of people saying it's the best album this year so far, and he was having his album release party like most artists do. Now, Polo G was leaving his album release party, he was in the car, he was a passenger, he wasn't even the driver, and his mom foot stomped on this point. We're going to talk about that. She said Polo G was moving right his whole time in Miami, and Polo G himself has come out to talk about the situation. Now, he took the social media to say a few things, and he alluded to the fact that he feels like they were being followed the whole time they were in Miami. He said somebody even mentioned that to him. Now, before we get to the specifics, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, so let's talk about this Polo G situation just a little bit and give you all the updates since he got arrested yesterday. Now, there's a couple of things that went down yesterday just in case you were living under a rock or don't know what's been going on with Polo G. Here's the breakdown, man. Now, I covered it all in my last video if you want to check that out. But here's the, man, let's, let's just summarize what's going down. Now, the rapper Polo G, born Torrance Bartlett, was arrested and booked into Turner Gifford Knight Correctional Center at 8 a.m. Saturday on several charges, including battery on a police officer, resisting arrest with violence, and criminal mischief. According to jail records, the 22-year-old Chicago-born Bartlett's bond on the five charges was $19,000, right? Now, according to a police report obtained by the Miami Herald from the story that I'm referencing through the Tampa Bay Times, the car Bartlett was in was pulled over in the area of Biscayne Boulevard and South 1st Street around 12.30 a.m. The car was pulled over for an unspecified traffic infraction. Stop right there. So basically, they're saying they pulled over the car for a traffic infraction. Now, this is where the story gets hazy because Polo G's mom is saying that Polo G was doing everything right. Now, I know this is his mom and that wouldn't be the first time a mom took account for their son or whatever, but she said that Polo G was in a pri private vehicle and that he was moving with security and he wasn't even the driver. So it's wild to find out how in the world he got arrested. Now, in the police report, it says this. Now, according to the report, there was an officer that allegedly got into a struggle with Polo G, according to a witness and officer who was there. Now, the officer and Polo G, they ended up in a struggle on the ground. And while one of the officers was trying to handcuff Bartlett, he was striking him multiple times in the head, chin, forehead, and cheek, according to the arrest report. So they're saying Polo G was striking the officer when he was trying to arrest him. But what we can't understand is why was Polo G being arrested in the first place if he wasn't the person who was driving the vehicle and he was just leaving his album release party, you know what I mean? Well, his mom had something to say about this. She took to social media and she said this. Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man, and I know you're enjoying this video, but make sure you go and you follow me on social media platforms like Instagram, and also go to my Twitter page and make sure you hit that follow button there so you can get the latest and greatest updates of when I'm dropping my videos. And man, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button so we can spread this video around, and we're trying to get 2,000 likes, so run them likes up. All right. Okay, so Polo G's mom is saying this, man. She took to social media and said, none of these charges would be possible if the police did not make contact with my son, Polo G. He was not the driver. He was a passenger in a professionally licensed vehicle with security. He was moving smart and correctly. What more could he have done? And she posed the question there. Now, for those of you who don't know, Stacia Mack is Polo G's mom, and she's also his manager. 
So she should know if he was moving right or not. Now, in this post prior to that, they show, you know, Polo G's charges or whatnot and his mugshot. Now, we talked about his charges in the last video and what it looks like, but since then, he has bonded out, man. And it looks like he's on his way to Atlanta for a show tonight or early this morning. Either way, it looks like Polo G's going to have to put this in his past, but it seems like Polo G wanted to say something of his own. So he took to social media and said this. Okay, so in this post, Polo G said this. He said, one of the officers told us they was on us since we got off our jet. So basically saying he was being followed and tracked ever since he landed in Miami. Now he followed that post up with this post right here where he said they playing foul in Miami and it been like that for a minute. Basically alluding to the fact that man Miami is playing a different game when it comes to rappers. Now I don't know if Polo G is right in this assessment or not but I do know that there's been several rappers who have been arrested or either investigated since going to Miami around Memorial Day, within the last month. So it leaves the question that, man, is Miami that safe haven it always used to be for rappers? Because let's be honest, man, rappers and athletes, all sorts of entertainers, Miami is like their playground for the longest, man. It's that place they've been getting away, especially rappers since the 90s. They've been going down there, having a great time, shooting music video, enjoying all the festivities, enjoying the ladies, enjoying all that stuff, man. Because it's it's a warm environment, man. Literally. You know what I mean? And it's a it's got beaches there. So what else could could you need, man? I've been to Miami several times and I can tell you the truth, man. I've never felt any type of hesitation to go there but, or felt any type of angst while I was there because it just seems like a relaxing place to be. And I think that's why rappers favor going to Miami. But I would be remiss if I didn't talk about the fact that there's been a lot of rappers getting locked up in Miami within the last month, man. I could think of four. And I seen a post on social media about this. And it basically had Polo G's mugshot. He just got arrested yesterday. Bandman Kevo's mugshot. He got arrested a couple of, months, a couple of weeks back. Then you had the baby who somebody from his entourage allegedly got into a shooting outside of a swanky restaurant. I'm talking about upscale, classy restaurant called Prime 112, where like everybody goes. Like I'm talking about like famous people, super rich people go over two car doors banging into each other. Then you have Pooh Shicey's situation, which he's currently in jail right now for. So man, there's a lot going on in Miami as far as rappers in the last month. Now, do I think they might have heightened up security and watching rappers because of this of course man there is no way around that so polo g could be spot on with that but do i think that it's him personally and that's his that's why he got into a situation i don't know man i wasn't there for what went down so i can't tell you all we can go by is the news reports the police report and what polo g and his mom said and both and basically what they're saying doesn't align with what we're hearing in other reports now, hopefully, this is only a minor hiccup in Polo G's career, man. He's on the right trajectory. He's taking off like a rocket. His career is going in the right direction. It's looking good for Polo G. And hopefully, he can put this thing behind him and continue being great in this hip-hop game. Now, with that, hold up. What do you guys think? Do you think Polo G's right that Miami's out here playing dirty with rappers and entertainers now? Or do you feel like maybe something might have happened that we just don't know because a lot is left out of all of these reports. Now with that, this has been your boy Big Man. Do me a favor, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.